Welcome to the <laughs> inaugural episode of the uh, Untitled So Far Nosebleeders podcast. Um, we're doing something a little different. So for those of you who've been uh, watching the channel for a while, yes, we're still doing the fight videos also. We're still going to do those once a week for the most part. Uh, but we're also going to do some other sort of opinion-based videos that we're filming um, you know, remote through webcams, as you can clearly see. The gang's mm -hmm. all here. Brian's here. Mike's here. Um, I just want to acknowledge one thing right up front. Uh, yes, we are aware that we are raging massive hacks for doing this show to begin with. Yeah, And I love stuff that's raging and massive. Brian absolutely does love stuff that's raging and massive. Um, for true. those of you who don't know, Brian is out of town. Brian, where are you right now? You're out of town, right? I'm Yeah, I'm in uh, Washington, D.C. right now, and I watched the Jets game. Um, I've been watching all football in D.C., so it's been interesting. Um, and people have asked if I could go to the Commander Stadium, and I was just like, um, no, because it is falling apart, and I'll probably <laughs> um, get as close as is is that their nickname, the commies? I didn't know that. Somebody, the somebody, did, I somebody did I say the did I say the commies? I meant no, the somebody. Commander. I heard somebody call them the commies. So. Oh no, no, yeah, yeah. no. That's probably um, my uncle that probably called him the commies. <laughs> <laughs> <Sure. laughs> So basically, with the show, bullshit. yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. So with the show, um, we're gonna be releasing this uh, roughly an episode almost every day. We hope on YouTube, just quick little segments. Um, eventually, and I promise this to both of you guys and to anybody who might be friends of us or want to watch the show or listen. Uh, eventually, I'll set up an RSS. We'll have a full like a thirty minute podcast once yeah. a week. You can do the audio for your your car rides and your plane trips and you can hear our very <laughs> shitty uninformed opinions uh, right. at least on there. So that, that, that is what we're doing with this. Um, so don't worry. The fight videos have not gone away. They still exist. We're still gonna be putting them out, but we're doing this too. So I just wanted yeah. to say that right up front, Mike, you said you do something to add to that. Sorry. Yeah. All our fans, AKA Kathy Rabideau, uh, yeah, my buddy Mike from work and my buddy Dan from work. All six people yeah, to watch yeah. this show. Thank you so far. Uh, <laughs> friend with the hair who's a guest. Yeah, of course, right. Kelly, my girlfriend, she watches too. Kelly watches. Uh, we're doing this because YouTube has changed uh, their policy in terms of uh, not flagging, but they tag videos as, with uh, parental advisory. Now, uh -huh. I'm all for, you know, hey, you want to make sure kids aren't looking up weird content because there's a lot of psychos out there but usually with a lot of these websites you have an option and you do have it with youtube but it's a little different you can turn on settings for what you're allowed to see and what you don't want to see which is fine you should have that option you know if you don't want to watch videos about baking a cake you can block all your cake baking videos you want but Fuck those uppity bakers stupid bakers yeah, but yeah so yeah. Uh, actually yeah mike you just remind me that so that's what i wanted to say too is that the youtube algorithm basically has been screwing us constantly um we no longer get recommended because there's bad words and people brawling in a lot of our videos so we're gonna bad do this words. too to see if no, we can we, maybe we took our... the bad words and it's still yeah blocked. oh yeah that's the thing we, yeah. mike went through the trouble mike is our editor and he 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 took out all the swear words and they still flagged us. So yeah. we're doing this also, but we don't even care. We're just going to, we're going to say bad words. We're going to do it our way. If they let people like it, they like it. If they don't, they don't. But the whole point of the internet was to get away from 1980s TV standards where you can't say bad words. And so screw YouTube. Um, we're still going to put it out on YouTube, but that, that's sort of, that's right. what we're doing. So that is the intro. Thank you, uh, Brian, for that thumbs yeah. down. Speaking of thumbs down, Brian, I want to get started with you right now. Um, I, we, we wanted to record this last week, yeah. but we, you know, the schedule is conflicted. Brian, you are of course our resident Jets fan. Mm -hmm. I need you to take me through your emotions of what went down during the first week, which was last week with this point. Uh, I, I, mm -hmm. I, I texted you during the game when I heard about what happened. I simply said, Brian, you doing okay. And you, you sent me one word back. You just said, no. Um so so yeah, take me through that. You know, the the, the game starts, you got your your, I, your brand new shiny QB, and then remember this I, is comedy I, though. I, I actually yeah. well, you know, so um I was a Jets fan, I was raised a Jets fan, my father was a Jets fan, and he used to say that um the Jets had a curse put on them because Joe Namath slept with a witch and never called her back. 
and really? she put a curse on the Jets. So that's what that my dad out, would actually. say, which I is why I never, which is why I grew up to never trust women and then become gay. Um, <laughs> so that's, so that's, it's all Joe Namath's fault. <laughs> it's all his fault. I was just it's like, just... you can't. They, the women destroyed my favorite um, football team. No, but to give you an idea, um, what was I thinking? What were you thinking? I basically first I laughed. I did. La- I did laugh. And I think I laughed yeah. because like the reality didn't really set in with me. I was just like, okay, he's probably hurt, but he's not going to be out for the yeah. rest of the game. Definitely not out for the rest of the season. Yeah. But then when he was out for the game, I was like, Ooh. And I heard it was his uh, Achilles. And I was like, Oh, like bad, bad, bad. That's a bad. Yeah. So, so let's back up a little bit. So, so the game comes on, he gets knocked out four plays into the game or first drive, whatever it was. And then, so they, they bring in the guy that everybody hates. The guy, that guy's that guy, Zach Wilson. Mm-hmm. And then they end up because during the game there weren't really that many Aaron Rodgers updates. So all that you had to go on was you were just watching the game. And they ended up winning the game, if you if you don't recall correctly. So your emotions go from like oh to like yeah, and then right after the game, an hour later, they're like, oh yeah, he's out for the season. So yeah. did it go, yeah. Brian? Am I accurate in saying that it went from like oh to like yeah? The, right the back whole, down the, to oh in like the whole an hour. night. The whole night was akin to having bipolar disorder <laughs> because you're okay. at the highest of the high. You watch Aaron Rodgers coming with a flag, mm-hmm. okay? Coming with a flag, New, New York on 9/11. It's just like the patriotic boner that you have is just I insane. Right. I it was 9/11. After right. a, after watching that, so it's uh, Aaron Rodgers is running in with the flag. And then he gets hurt in like just like the most simple. It seemed like a simple tackle too. And I was like, oh, he's fine. He just got the wind yeah. knocked out of him. He'll be back in. And then when Zach Wilson was in and we were losing pretty bad, but we were playing really well, actually. That was the thing. It was like we, we were losing, but then we were still in the game. And then our defense had like four turnovers for Josh Allen. It was absurd. It was we were playing really well. And it just sucked to watch because I was like, well, this team is so fucking good. And they just have the worst quarterback that you could possibly have. <laughs> like if we had a decent, like if we had a decent quarterback, then like we definitely would be at least in playoff contention. But it was just like, it was just like, okay, like everything was perfect. This was our year. This was our year to like yeah. the Jets were going to be like in the playoffs. Um, de- I definitely believe in the AFC championship too, as well, like without a doubt. But I just, I, so I was like, it was like, I laughed and then I was upset and then I just shrugged it. I was like, this is the Jets. They're cursed. <laughs> the Jets are cursed. That's going to be something that is going to be as in, as in the public zeitgeist as the Chicago Cubs and the Red Sox. If Jets keep losing like this, there's going to be a Jets curse that fans are going to adopt and sports writers are going to adopt. Yeah, that's They're a already good point. Doing this might right be the next now. big one. Yeah, this no, that, the, that's actually this, a really good point. The the Jets curse is going to be the next big curse. It's going to be the next big curse, and it's going to take. And it, and I may <laughs> I may have um, sciatica and back problems by the time they win, you know, and I may be collecting social security by the time they get a decent quarterback. There um, is, there's already a lot of Jets fans who are like that, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Already, people have already become elderly waiting to win another Super Bowl. Y- yeah. I, yeah, terrible. exactly. Like, yeah. I mean, pe- people that remember when we literally landed on the moon, that, that's when we, yeah, three yeah. impossible things happen in the same year. So speaking yeah. of aging, and Brian, and I have and one it, more question before we move on yeah, to the next uh, topic here. So, Brian, I know you, you mentioned you are a gay gentleman. Um, mm-hmm. Wait, so, Brian's gay? <laughs> so, Sorry Brian, would, would you rather, you, Mike. would you rather, Brian, would you rather bang young, pretty Aaron Rodgers, or would you rather hate fuck old anti-vax Aaron Rodgers? If you had to pick uh, one. That's a, that's a good question. I've seen that's Aaron Rodgers when I've seen Aaron Rodgers when he was young. Mm-hmm. Like actually when he was drafted, he was kind of a fat fuck when he, <laughs> he was kind of schlubby <laughs> at one pudgy. point. Like I yeah, a little pudgy. bit. Like yeah, he yeah, I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but I saw a picture of him when I was young and I was like, "Uh, it's also just right. like so I guess to answer your question, I would rather hate fuck old Aaron Rodgers <laughs> because um <laughs> And he's a good-looking yes. guy. He's a good-looking yes. guy. And what I think too is, 
A lot of people also say he's in the closet. Like yeah. I read an interview where he was pressed about his sexuality because there were right. rumors that he was gay. And he said, no, I'm not gay. I really, really, really like women. If you have to say you really like women three times, you, yeah. you're, you're hiding something. That okay? would you've probably, protest too much. You, you've probably well, done poppers in Hell's Kitchen. That's what I'm going to call you yeah. out on that. <laughs> Aaron who, who, who is he dating? Who is the, the, the woman he was dating? The he, celebrity? He, was, he was dating What's her oh, name? Olivia Mum. Yeah, I it think. was like right after he was. Uh, Who's she hot too? Yeah, but it was like right yeah. after they said, "Are you gay?" and all. And he's like, "No, no, no." And then he started dating her. It was he went like, out of his way to compensate. Yeah, he's like, "Who's yeah, like the hottest wait, girl cool. available? I well, can find well, his well, beard." He, well, he also had an assistant that he lived with that was called his quote unquote roommate for like a long period of time, and they yeah. both kept like there was tons of rumors that they were like an item or whatever and they oh, both there are kept lots people. of rumors i know yeah. women who don't watch football who were like who sent me stuff of like you know rumor gossip stuff to where aaron Rodgers supposedly could be gay like so it's it, there's definitely some rumors we don't know but if he ever does brian it, brian's available brian's it's available a, the it, top it, over uh, yeah aaron Rodgers. <laughs> yeah i'll shoot now. my shot it, and it's fun and, and it's funny you also bring um just one thing that i also remembered too there's also pictures of tom brady when he was just like you know just like uh, uh in, before he was the tom brady right. i think pre-draft he was just ugly and you know he had like almost a double chin too like oh, yeah. it's like how's this guy a football player and now he's like an adonis and it's like yeah because he's rich and he has money and he can right. you know rich people are hot they have the money to be hot right. so and that's yeah. kind of i think mate that's kind of i think the case with aaron Rodgers. he's doing like an experimental surgery i heard right now or an innovative surgery um he's also listening to dolphins fuck apparently i i think that was maybe what? a joke Wait, what? that well i think the animal maybe, or the team he <laughs> <laughs> yeah no he's listening to dolphins fuck in the he's locker in the room <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he's got his ear up on the, on the wall <laughs> Omaha, yeah, he, he's, yeah yeah he's listening in to see if there's um any fantasies going on with, with the dolphins locker room no but uh yeah no he's he apparently why. He apparently made a joke to Pat McAfee, I think. And I don't, yeah, I don't know if this was a joke or he was serious, but he listens to, at night, he listens to dolphins basically um, have coitus, have intercourse with each other to kind of like, and he says so that has some healing powers, what? which he could be just joking about that. Um, I heard that. I didn't listen to the interview. He could be joking. He also believes in aliens, and he also um, doesn't. I mean, I do you know, too, to be believe fair. in modern medicine either. So well, he's yeah, got. He, yeah, he's All a right. he's a he's weird. Guy, so. So, so the hate fuck is the answer. Good, good, um, good yes, answer, Brian. I like that. So we, we do we do have to ask the next question. Then the next question is now that Aaron Rodgers is out. Who replaces Zach uh, Wilson? Because we know it's not going to be Zach. So who replaces? I, who's the QB? Who are we going to trade for? I, or we? I'm not even a Jets fan. Brian, I, you're the I, Jets fan. Who do you want to trade I, for? Okay, I would really like Carson Wentz. Okay, um, Carson Wentz is like relatively young, uh, and he's been in the Super Bowl before. I think he would be really. I think he would be good. Uh, there's also, I mean, there's Kirk Cousins that he's been talked about a lot too. Um, you know, he's again, he's older. Uh, I don't. There was Matt Ryan who people talked about, but I think that would be a mistake. That'd be um, an interesting one. Yeah. So if you had to pick one. You're going Wentz. If if I had to pick one, I'd go Wentz because I'm tired of the Jets getting like old, older QBs. I mean, we also have had very young and experienced QBs, such as like. Uh, I don't know, like Sam Darnold was a perfect one. Um, when Chad Pennington came on, he wasn't like the best. And then right. he obviously left and was great. Um, yeah. Side note, people used to tell me that I look like Chad Pennington. I don't know if yeah. there's any truth to yeah. that. But, um, but, then, but then we also had, I mean, we had Vinny Testaverde, who also ruptured his Achilles in, I believe, the 1999 season and was out the entire season. And that was because he was you know, older. Then we got Brett Favre after he retired. So when we got Aaron Rodgers, I was kind of skeptical because he's so old yeah. as it is, but he's also great. And like from when I was watching hard knocks, I was like, Oh, he's, he's money. He, this is going to be a great team. So, but I guess to answer your question, I would like Carson Wentz cause he's kind of like in between, like he's kind of, he's has, he has experience, but also he's not, he's still relatively young too as yeah. well. Um, yeah. So I think that would actually – I would really, really like to see them get Carson Wentz. So do you that, feel that this be... team 
because we all agree that Zach is not Zach. It ain't the guy. Do you think that if this team just had like an average to slightly above average QB, that this team is a is a playoff team again, probably? Um, yeah. If they have okay. an above average, yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah. Garrett Wilson is amazing. I mean, Gar- I mean, some of the catches that Garrett and Will- Garrett Wilson has been making, even with shitty Zach Wilson, like in the Cowboys right. game, it's just it's just mind blowing. Um, our defense is great. We have Sauce Gardner, who's one of the best cornerbacks, and I mean, Josh Allen is nothing to sneeze at offensively, and we forced four turnovers. Oh, that D is great. A devastating right. blow. Yeah. There we go. So let me throw one one more name at you, Brian, if if this mm -hmm. is cool. How would you feel if they brought Minshew Mania to New York? I would love it. I would, you know what? I would love it. I would love, I mean, okay. So I don't think, um, I don't think he's the guy that's going to take us um, to the promised land. I don't think that, like, I don't think we should spend a ton of money, but like, I'm going to back up right now. Yeah, I kind of look at it as why. I mean, I would kind of look at it as why not. From a fan perspective, you know, he's such a he's such a cool guy with his like you know Tom Selleck porn mustache and whatnot. Oh, not like <laughs> you know, he's just such. I mean, there, there's so many stories about Minshew being such a eccentric character when he was yeah. um you know on the Jaguars. So I mean, I've kind of, yeah. Here's what I think: anyone but Zach Wilson. Um, <laughs> Minshew is towards the, the Minshew is towards the end of my list, but it would definitely be, it, it would be fun. It would make the Jets fun for what's been a really, um, really yeah. depressing yeah. season and, and in the beginning of the I season. That. That's why I mm-hmm. asked that is because you know I, I'll admit I'm a kind of a homer when I ask that question because I actually um, you, this is going to sound weird, but I, I was a huge Mike Leach fan, the old the great, great coach before he right. passed away. So I the actually followed girlfriend. Gardner Mintrew during that whole year he was at Washington State. I watched all those yeah. games. So like, uh, okay. yeah, I, I love that dude. And I think um, alluding to what Brian said a minute ago, that dude is such like a, like a Southern kind of eccentric weirdo redneck that it would be so funny to have that dude be in the guy in New York City of all places. And that's kind of why I, I want to yeah. see it happen. I, I think, and I think he would, uh, you know, what's funny. I think he would actually thrive here because he, I mean, like he's a good looking guy. He's apparently like a very outgoing and friendly guy and a funny guy too. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, uh-huh. it, it, if he was great, if he, I mean, that would be amazing if we got Gardner Mishu, uh, Minshew and he just um, started to be like an amazing Joe Namath quarterback because personality wise, I feel like him and Joe Namath may be similar. Uh, I don't know if uh, uh, Minshew drinks as much as Joe Namath, but they're definitely yes. they definitely got like an easygoing playboy vibe to them. So it would be fun. Oh, for sure. It would definitely be fun. It would definitely be fun if we got him. I wouldn't hate it, but like I also was if we like, spent a ton of money and invested our future in him, I would be like, that's the wrong move. Well, the reason why I brought it up is because right now he's just the, the Colts backup. You know, yeah. if they fall out of it, he might be able to be had in four or five weeks from now. That's because, you know, yeah. I, I always think of budget solutions. I'm also not a Jets fan. So if I got Minshew. Brian's got Wentz. Mike, who do you got? Who, who are you bringing in if you're if you're the Jets GM? Um, if you have to bring in somebody, I mean, Minshew sounds good. Uh, I heard somebody interesting on the – somebody mentioned on the radio, Nick Foles. I mean, the guy is a Super Bowl How winner. How old is he now? That's the thing. It's like what you have left isn't much. I mean, you have – who do you have? You have Cam Newton out there. You have, uh, I believe you have Cam Newton. You have Kaepernick is still out there. You have. Those are both be funny, by the way. Fitz that would Magic. Be I mean, you, have, <laughs> you have all these quarterbacks who have not played in a while. Yeah. So but I heard RG3 talk, and he was saying there's nobody better for the job right now than Zach Wilson because somebody would have to come in and relearn the offense and learn the whole vibe and the structure of the team and is expected to win right away. And unfortunately, I mean, it depends on how well he plays, but right now he's not the best. So unfortunately you have Zach Wilson, but if Zach Wilson could play like he played when he came in for Rogers, you know, he wasn't amazing, but he was good. If he can do that and level up and just get better as the season progresses, then he should be the starting quarterback. I mean, there's no reason for him not to be the starting quarterback. It's just his struggles have kept him out. He's got to work. He's got to work on not throwing interceptions. I mean, like the, the, I think he had three interceptions last Sunday with the Cowboys. Yeah. Like that's just like, I mean, it's we have a great offense. We have like ton of weapons 
offensively. You know, yeah. I mean, again, Garrett Garrett Wilson, you threw the most ridiculous passes, the most uncatchable passes to that guy, and he'll manage to yeah. catch it. So yeah. I just don't. I, I just like. I I don't think if you if you're a decent quarterback, there's not an excuse why you can't go far um, with this team. So yeah. if it's if, if especially from what I saw um, on the Monday night football game with the Bills, I don't see why we wouldn't go far. It would have to be the quarterback. It really it really is. And that but that's a good point too, Mike. I think it, it would take a lot, um, especially to like. If you get someone who's like a diva, too, as well, that's just right. gonna um, be like, "Oh, I should get paid a lot. I know what I'm doing." Mm-hmm. Like, he, this is a, there has been a lot of camaraderie that's been built up um, in this team. Right. I know uh, Zach Wilson, real like Aaron Rodgers, actually for like all like the jokes we make about him, he really did take Zach Wilson um, under his wing too. And was like really just like trying to you know show him the ropes. So which I think is it hasn't good. rubbed off and yet, but maybe. So it has so not. Mike, your it answer has it sounds like is just sick with Zach. That's what it sounds like to me. Your answer is which I I, I respect that answer, especially if it sounds like they're trying yeah. to you know. I just don't teach know. Aaron. I mean, if they bring, is there somebody good enough out there that they can bring in that's going to turn this into? There's nobody who's going to equal Aaron Rodgers. You know, number yeah. one. And number two is last week they only had what four touches. For Brees Hall. So if you're telling me now you're down a quarterback, you have an offensive weapon in Brees Hall is one of the top running backs in the league. Why are they not giving him the ball more often to go out there and run? I mean, we just saw in the offseason all the controversy about not paying running backs enough and it's a it's a position they don't, you know, they don't need anymore or something. I, I grew up a Rodney Hampton fan from the Giants. I you know, I running back was always my favorite, you know. Why don't we? Why we don't have the days of Emmitt Smith and Barry Sanders anymore? I don't know. I know it's so heavily on the quarterback and passing, but the Jets don't have, or at least they feel they don't have the quarterback to lead them. But you have Brees Hall. Why yeah. are you not giving Brees Hall the ball? Let him make things happen. And then you mean to tell me Zach can't come in on third down and throw that sideline pass to get them a first down, you know, or whoever they're bringing in as as a replacement should at least. I- they should be relying their offense on Brees Hall. Forget everything with Aaron Rodgers they had planned. Turn it, turn, make a pivot and focus on I, Brees Hall. He I, should be your I, offense. I, I think. I mean, you, you can't completely focus. That, that 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 honestly, I have to just push back a little bit on that, Mike, because right. that that's been. I mean, ground and pound. <laughs> I can't say that without laughing. Uh, ground and pound. Can't say what has been cut. Ground and pound isn't that the uh, name of the party that you got invited to later, Brian? Yeah, yeah. That, no, that, that's uh, basically my friend. Ground and pound is how you make chili. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> ground uh, and sports is like the gayest thing possible, which is hilarious. How much like there's oh, especially dudes football. wearing other dudes' clothes, <laughs> spandex <laughs> bending over. Yeah. There we go. Um, but like, I guess yeah. like. You know, relying on the running backs have always been kind of something that like the Jets have always done because they've had they they haven't had great quarter. quarterbacks. So right. like that's true. They've always relied on. I mean, I remember Curtis Curtis Martin is obviously in a Jets fan. Is in a not the Jets fan, the Jets uh, Hall running, of Fame, right? Um, as a running back, <laughs> yeah. But it was also because like you know during the time we had terrible we had terrible quarterbacks so we were always handing it off to him you know and that's why like he he was just able to gain all the like he was able to break records in regards to like gaining yardage because everyone would always hand it off to him so i just i i i Brees hall is great i think he had like 86 yards um when he ran it back in the uh buffalo game we won um, yeah but I don't think you know you. Don't you, think it's done anymore. you you yeah. You can't just. They cannot just rely on Brees Hall. They have to have a quarterback that can. Yeah. You know that is that is multi talented that, that can do multiple things. And if they don't like, it's just I I, I think this is just going to be a waste of the season, and it's just going to be another um, depressing season yeah. of football. It's just, uh, <laughs> All I'm right. Saying, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm Mike. Probably, no, I was just going to say quickly. It. No, Brian, you're not wrong. I I just felt like. If your number one offensive weapon is out, then by default you have to go to number two, and that's Brees Hall. But you do mm. make a point. They always had to rely on the running backs. But, I, you know, Brees Hall's pissed off from last week. You know, maybe maybe this weekend he's got a fire lit under him and 
Zach and he really wants to have pound. Fire limb under him too. This is Zach's moment to shine. The Bruno prove all the naysayers wrong. I don't know. Hey, if you want Danny Dimes, you can have him because I'm still not sold on Danny. Dimes. No, I, I, I <laughs> no, you can keep Danny Dimes. I, even though go. he did get a touchdown last week, the Giants actually oh, great. Didn't, yeah. the Giants actually did better than the Jets last week. Even though the Giants mm. did terrible. No, it season. took them three quarters to get going. Yeah, yeah. Everybody no, it took them like, seven oh, quarters to get going, Mike. It took them seven because remember yeah. what happened in the first game of the season, which we're not going to talk about ever oh. again, ever. I can't. Um, I can't celebrate comebacks. You had a whole game to be that good, and it took you to the last minute to come back. And it's like, dude, well, what were you doing the other three quarters? I'm with you, know? you there. So. That, anyway. that actually leads into my last question for you guys. Right. A uh, question for you guys. And this one, this might be uncomfortable for all three of us. Okay. So, Mike, we're both Yankee fans. We are. Brian's a Mets fan. Brian's a yeah. Jets fan. We're both Giants fans, Mike. Yeah. Um, all four of those teams suck. I'm sorry. I'm going to say it yeah. out loud. They're they terrible. Well, I mean, we're not going to mention baseball on the show until next spring. I'm, I'm, I'm so disgusted. So, you know, with the Jets, with the, with the quarterback <laughs> situation, we don't know if they're going to be above 500. The Giants, like, uh, they are, you know, they had – the only victory they've had as of this recording was a comeback victory against a terrible team. They got smoked by the only other team they played. Um, they're going to lose tonight. We're recording this on the 21st, by the way, um, of – uh, September, they're going to get smoked by the 49ers. So as a New York fan, where do we go for a team that doesn't suck? Do we have to all become New York Liberty fans? Are we, are we going to be sure. WNBA fans this fall? I mean, I mean, I mean, if you are, I'll go to the well, garden. They play in the summer. Fucking... I think the season's over, right? No, no. Aren't they in the playoffs or something? I don't know. Root for the soccer team, New York football club. No, or the you NYCFC. Root. Yeah. You got to root for the Knicks right now. They look promising. Okay. They just got that other guy from Villanova, the Italian guy. Um, they didn't add a big piece, but that's the problem with the Knicks is when they added a big piece, this goes back to the Knicks could have been what they are now back before they got mellow. In fact, they were getting to that point. Donnie mm -hmm. Walsh, they brought him in to clean up the team. He did. They were winning. And then they said, we want mellow. And I get it. It's mellow. How could you not want to bring in one of the best players in the league um, mm -hmm. who also likes to sleep on the sideline? But no, but like they traded yeah. away all that stuff. Donnie Walsh beat it up. The, uh, uh, all that stuff Donnie Walsh brought in to fix the team. They traded all his stuff away, and then they got mellow. And Donnie Walsh was like, yeah, I'm going to resign because of health issues. Yeah, health <laughs> issues. So as far then, as this year goes, as far as uh, the fall slash right. winter of 2023 to 24, your answer is, is the Knicks might not suck this year, Mike? I think the Knicks will be good. It's just you know you don't know what the Knicks, um, but I think – the, at least you saw last year a Knicks team that can compete and they want to win and they have players who are not knuckleheads, as Charles Barkley would call them, that they're not <laughs> goofing off. You, you you want to see a little more out of Julius Randle in terms of being a leader and not just looking lackadaisical on the court sometimes. And, you know, um, who was the guy on the Heat last year? I'm blanking out. But, like, his counterpoint. You want Julius Randle to play like that, and I, this okay. doesn't help my argument. I can't think of his name. But so we need to go all, all into the Knicks now. Brian, you're a Nets fan. Are they going to suck mm -hmm. this year, or are they going to be watchable? You, you, you know, I'm not. Sh I'm not sure. Mike just mentioned the player that they just acquired. I really just, I kind of deflated with the Nets. I'll definitely still <laughs> watch them, but like, I mean, another. A perfect example, a little more of infuriating of an example because Rogers is just like disappointing because like he was ready to go and just got hurt. But like the Nets could have been, um, you know, have, could have won a championship multiple times. Um, we lost obviously to the Bucks, and then they went on to the championship because it was Giannis's world and we were living in it. Um, but I mean, it, it was also just. The fact that you had KD, who is such a diva, you had Kyrie Irving, who I mean, there, I mean, play the stupid game and win the stupid prize. So that's Kyrie Irving. I, it, there's so they because of <laughs> oh, their <yes>. stupidity, because <laughs> of because of that. their ego and their stupidity, they they ruined it. They especially Kyrie, especially Kyrie, because of his just complete nonsense. Like in terms of the vaccine, and in terms of yeah, um, some of the, the you know anti-Semitism, yeah. and it's just like uh, what pissed me off, especially because the vaccine mandate got lifted, 
went for people like Kyrie Irving because uh, the mayor was like, we need tourism. People want to watch people like Kyrie play. Yeah, we need we need we need people to watch these unvaccinated <laughs> assholes, <laughs> you know, play sports because that's what puts his asses in seats, which so, I, a, part, a part of me gets. But right. then he th- does that stupid thing with the video. So anyway, but I so guess my point is, yeah. I don't know. My point is, I don't know. And I've kind of just I bought Nets tickets last year, like season Nets tickets last year. And it was just such a dumpster fire of <laughs> what could have been a great season that I, because of, uh, because of Kyrie Irving and then Kevin Durant left that I'm just like, I don't, I don't know. Um, so then the Nets look Din- like they're Din- really good. I like Din Whittle. Um, so the, 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 the answer to the question, I guess, is let's all root for the Dicks this year. Uh, let's go. Let's go back to Mike for a second. Yeah. Um, are any of the uh, local tri-state hockey teams going to be watchable this year? Or is it just the Knicks and then wait till next spring and hope the Mets and the Yankees don't suck? Where do we go for, as New York fans? I, I mean, I would got? imagine. I mean, the, the other – I'm a Ranger fan. So, you know, I want to – I think the Rangers would be good. Are they going to win it all? I don't know. Uh, they got the new coach, so let's see. But the thing with hockey – is the Islanders and the Devils both play in the Rangers division, so I don't root for them at all. Like the Jets, I can root for the Mets because they're not in the Yankees thing. You know, they don't have any impact on them. So um, I don't really know how good they're going to be. I don't want to see either of those two teams win because they're our rivals, you know. Not in person, they're just our rivals. So, yeah. I mean, I'm going to be watching the Rangers, um, and, I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to hockey coming back. I think it starts uh, the Sunday is uh, the first – uh, preseason game. I almost said spring training. Uh, it's preseason game. There you and, go. And then we got basketball coming in in October. So let's winter sports is here. Let's focus yeah, on. Yeah, and we will be at the outside the garden and outside Barclays doing interviews and shit. If anybody runs into us, yeah. Um, the Devils may also be good. They went far last year. Yeah, I, I think the Devil, Devils and Ivers are are also in it. I just don't. Yeah. I don't follow hockey as closely. I, I'm I'm a Devils people. fan, but. Yeah, I right. mean, in terms of, I mean, and Jack Hughes is great, but um, yeah, I mean, I the Devils are out of all four of my favorite teams: the Nets, the Jets, the Mets, and the Devils. The mm-hmm. Devils are the ones that I'm the least embarrassed about. <laughs> <laughs> they've been, they've oh, literally wow. been, they've literally right. been to the Stanley Cup in like the last decade. So like, all I'm right. like, I, I could actually. Get, hold my head high, say that I'm a Devils fan. Everything else, I just um, cringe and shame. Well, the Mets um, were in the World Series like eight years ago or something. In the Mets, anyway, too, yeah, in the Mets, too. It, go, it, goes, it, go, it goes Devils. Um, it go, honestly, if it, in terms of um, uh, least embarrassing to um, most embarrassing, it goes Devils, Mets. Um, I don't know. I mean, I would say Nets, but they've never – won anything and then the jets the jets just the jets because they just fuck up in a spectacular fashion like a spectacular fashion yeah they find new I and mean, exciting ways to fuck their fans it's, i mean it's crazy. The, i mean this is this is the team where a center ran into oh, sorry this is a team where a quarterback, quarterback ran into his center's asshole and fumbled the ball <laughs> that 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 is the legacy of the jets of the butt fumble Right. I watched. I watched it happen on TV. Doesn't butt fumble you know, sound like a, a also like a different party that Brian got invited to? It's, <laughs> yeah, it's an open mic he goes to. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. The butt fumble. All right, so that, that those that, are good answers. Um, so so yeah. Devils, Knicks, uh, Rangers, I guess, are the three answers to that question. Um, so do we have? A fight video to do this week, Mike. We have a fight video, and what we're going to do is we're going to wrap up these shows with a fight video. Uh, mm-hmm. And if I can get it to play, which I can. Um, okay. So yeah, what we're going to do is yeah. So we're still doing, like I said, we're still doing the fight videos, and this is going to be cut up in clips anyway, so we can we can fuck around for a minute. Here we uh, go. Oh, there we go. So uh, this is what ninety five, Mike. Right, ninety five. Yeah, so this is uh, 1995. Brewers, White Sox. The White Sox and the Brewers. Um, and what we have here is something that happens uh, where there's a throw over the third base and the Brewers' third baseman, Jeff Cirillo, kind of gets into it with Ozzie Guillen, who ended up becoming their manager, the great Ozzie Guillen. And then things kind of spill out, and then we're going to see uh, the managers get involved. You're going to see uh, <clears throat> Phil Garner from the Brewers and Terry Bevington 
All right, play website. it. Just play it. Let's go. Let's, let's do it. Let's, let's get it. right into it. If let's I can do it. Walk us through it, Mike. Check it out. People don't want to hear us. They want to see some uh, some action. All right, All right so, so failed on attempt. Yeah, throw Grand second, Lloyd pitching, throw throws third. over third, and he, a little shove there by Gian. He's like, get off my arm. And he's like, all right, you two guys need to chill out. And they're like, no, we're going to curse and yell because we're ball players. <laughs> and well, so it's getting wow, a the ums get their hands on these dudes, yeah. too. This is like, you don't see that a lot anymore. No, they're really the trying to just kind of pushing them back. Play. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we got some heat. Okay. We got somebody running right, right up, grabbing them by the collar. Running, I mean, the, the managers are sleeve. scrapping. They're scrapping. There they go. There's uh, Lyle Mouton. Uh, Graham Lloyd, Tim Raines, future Yankees, the World Series winners in three years from this. Scrapping Valentin. This is a scrap. This is a scrap. You don't see the managers go. They yell, but you never see them brawl. I like how someone's holding their hat right there, like yeah. while they're in the like they you now they they want to beat this guy's ass, but they don't want to do it without losing their hat. And this is uh, before the uh, the Brewers switched to the National League, which I still don't understand. They swapped with the Astros. So it was an, an intense melee, but when do, when do you ever see the managers fight like that? I mean, yeah, they got a little, they got a little, a uh, little uh, fresh to each other there. I like how he's still holding the guy's uniform as they're walking away, like that's going to do anything at all. Yeah, he's yeah. all. He's like, I got to get this dry clean now. Mm-hmm. It's like when you're, it's like you go to fight some kid, and then the, and then the parents start fighting. It's like oh, you're supposed to be better than this. Why are you fighting? <laughs> <laughs> Greg Vaughn. That's that stash is serious too. <laughs> that is a serious uh, stash right there. There, there. The manager's like, uh, mustache is fought as well, which is yeah. Bevington's a big dude. I mean, look at him. He looks like he's the star. Yeah. yeah. No, he does, he, looks yeah. like. Doesn't he look like the kind of guy who should have the first four buttons of his shirt unbuttoned? Right. You know, <laughs> this is one too many. Yeah, so you know, little little a hey, get off me. I'm just trying to make the play. Jeff Cirillo's like, I'm going home to eat uh, some Italian food, and he's like, I don't care about Italian food, you know. And they just yell. I like how the little white socks. It looks like a laundry brand, you know, on the actual white sock on their uniform. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he kind of slipped and fell in his hand. It wasn't really anything. He gave him a little, a little, a little elbow, a little elbow butt there, or butt elbow, little, little. yeah. He probably didn't appreciate that very much. And these two guys, the, the, yeah. there might have been a kiss there. Was there a kiss there? Did you see that? They got little I hope kiss. so. I didn't, see, I didn't see it. Wait, we can go back. We have the beauty with this stream yard set up. We can now go back. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Remember how we'll hard this was for us? Let's get I do remember how hard this was for us when we first started doing this show. And it, a little, a little <laughs> blown in his ear, maybe? I don't know. Hey. See, I can't tell what's going on in this fight at all. It's, I, it's I, too crowded. That's the thing. I, you, you can't tell. <laughs> yeah. You got you got Bevington. He's kind of center, the top center frame. There's Somebody's getting grabbed by the face. I can see that. Yeah, but uh, they frame. are like pu- they are like pulling each other towards each other a lot. Like it, it, it is um, it is very intense and passionate. Okay. That was the fun. Brian, Brian would know. Brian would know about <laughs> As a two guys emotion. grabbing each other passionately. Um, are, are we still doing the rating system? Or are we not? Are we not? Uh, yeah, what, we we yeah. Let's rate that. it before we go. Okay, uh, I'm gonna give that like a four. I, yeah. I mean, I'm sure they were intense, but I couldn't tell what the fuck was going on. Mike, what do you got? I was gonna say three because it's managers. I'll go up to four. You don't see managers okay, yeah. fight. But it wasn't really the. It was a tussle. It wasn't really an all out. We've seen some brawls. We we did get to see a legendary uh, nose bleeder uh, Graham Lloyd involved in this. Yeah. This so, but uh, and this is the anniversary of that fight from '98. Uh, so go back and watch our video: Baltimore versus the Yankees, the classic fight with Graham Lloyd. Oh yeah, that was, and that was awesome. Rhodes and uh, that was a beauty. Watch that one. Is he, uh, yeah, yeah. It, you don't that even watch this video. Don't even keep. Uh, I'll, I'll watch it for Brian's rating, but then go do something right. else. Yeah, I give it a four. Uh, Brian, what do you got? Yeah, you know what? I'll go with you guys. Uh, I'll give it a four. At first, I was like, okay, this is like we have a very high bar in terms yeah. of just like brawls. We do because we've watched them really, really good. We've seen um, smoke fights. bombs, terrorist threats. We've seen a lot. We've seen yeah. badminton so, fights. Like, yeah, badminton and fights. this and and like I was thinking, I was like. Okay, um, maybe I get maybe I give it a six if I'm generous or like um, you know a five. But I just I just when I, I after watching so many of these with you guys, like this is 
this is the one that I was just like, mm. like if I were to give it like a pass or fail, I probably would give it a fail. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, like I just yeah. was like, okay, like it, because we and that's. I mean, if we were at the game, it would be the most amazing event ever. We probably right. would have seen like, oh yeah. my god, you see what what. Really Everything's good. better. Oh, he grabbed his shirt. It was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. But what but watching it in hindsight, it was like, okay, like it was just I didn't see any punches thrown, just like a bunch of just guys like grabbing each other and wrestling it. And like you couldn't and because it was just such a dog pile. It looked like a football huddle. Anything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You, didn't really, just, you couldn't see what was going on. Yeah, you, you, yeah, we we have so many fights where people break off into separate fights. So yeah, I'm gonna go with you guys. I'm gonna give it a four. It didn't really excite me at all. Yeah. And I always get excited when you know men are grabbing each other. So yeah. right. there you go. <laughs> why we do it? That's why we do it for Brian. <laughs> All right. Um, I, as far as that individual clip, yeah, that's definitely done. Um, and I think that we did a pretty good amount today. What do you guys think? Anything you want to add, or, or we do? How do you think? How do you feel overall? Yeah, this is you know first one in the books. You know, you always got to do the first one to get things going. We'll have more, and uh, you know they'll be silly, they'll be fun. You know, we always try to lean on the comedy. Uh, we had a we had about two weeks of sports events to kind of catch up on in one episode, but uh, now that we got this, we're gonna have a try to have this regularly scheduled. It's hard to say, and just kind of crank yeah. these out, and uh, we'll try to have. It'll be easier now for us to have guests with the software. And, you know, hopefully it'll lead to some other ideas we've been kicking around. But uh, you get to see our, our faces again on social media. Yeah. No, that, that is awesome. Um, you can hit stop anytime. Oh, we done? You could say stop. I thought I was doing no, well, no, I mean, yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, I, I, we're, we're not professionals. 